pop quiz. Of all the creatures on Earth that can swim, which one of them is designed to move through water with the highest degree of efficiency? I'm not talking about the fastest swimmers or the largest and most powerful. No, this is a search for the living organism that expends the least amount of energy to propel itself through an ocean, river, or lake. Here's a hint. The animal we're looking for doesn't have a brain, bones, blood, or even a heart. Okay, time's up. The world's most efficient swimmer is... a jellyfish. Yep, believe it or not, these anatomically simple creations are built to use less energy in the water than any other animal on the planet. And the biological engineering that makes this possible is so unique, it's now the focus of cutting-edge scientific research. How does it all work? Well, here's what we know right now. More than 2,000 species of jellyfish have been identified throughout the world, and each has a body that consists of approximately 95% water. This spectacular flexibility is a key attribute of the engine that drives the animal's almost constant motion, the large umbrella-shaped structure called the bell. The interior of the bell's membrane is lined with a thin layer of muscles and nerves. And when it contracts, water is squeezed out under pressure to propel the jellyfish forward. Depending upon the species, this cycle of contraction and expansion can be repeated up to 50 times a minute. Now that's the simplified explanation for how a jellyfish swims. To appreciate the real genius involved here, we need to look at the physics of the process as well as the biology. At the University of South Florida, researchers have studied jellyfish with lasers and high-speed cameras to unravel the secrets of their locomotion. Their work has revealed a finely tuned system that enables the animal to travel freely while burning minimal energy of its own. Such efficiency is due largely to the coordinated interactions of two naturally occurring phenomena called vortexes. The stop vortex is a ring of swirling fluid that forms around the bell's outer membrane. And its companion, the start vortex, encircles the perimeter of the bell's rim. The water in these rings spins rapidly in opposite directions. Now, let's watch the entire system in action. During each stroke cycle, both vortexes descend beneath the bell, where, for an instant, they are closely aligned. Then, the opposing motion of the rings neutralizes their action to create a virtual wall of increased pressure that the jellyfish uses as a launch pad. This cycle is repeated with flawless precision every time the bell contracts, and the animal is propelled as if it pushed itself off from a stationary platform. The jellyfish's method of producing thrust can be compared to a human swimmer who receives a boost every time he shoves himself away from the wall of the pool. And remember, this biological machine generates each forward push. Without the leverage assist, a solid surface would provide. It's the only creature on Earth known to power itself like this through open water. And that's just part of the sophisticated technology displayed here. Again, keep an eye on the vortex. After each contraction, the stop vortex sucks in water that quickly refills and expands the elastic bell. 
and the jellyfish receives a second boost of thrust without expending any muscular energy of its own. Scientists have estimated that jellies are at least 10 times more efficient traveling in water than any other creature. And if they were cars, their MPG rating could exceed several hundred miles per gallon. Inspired by this quiet and efficient locomotion, research teams throughout the world are developing robotic prototypes that could someday be used to explore fragile marine ecosystems, help with the cleanup of oil spills, and improve the performance of underwater vehicles. It is no surprise that scientists, engineers, and artists consistently turn to the natural world in search of inspiration. For every corner of our planet is bursting with examples of design, purpose, and elegance of form. This reality is even more obvious when viewed through the lens of an organism so simple it's sometimes mistaken for a plastic trash bag floating aimlessly in the sea. Yet, through an understanding of each graceful movement, we are reminded of a timeless truth. God, the creator of the heavens, the earth, and every living creature, simply doesn't make junk.